May he well, rest. Well, 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 it's a conversation that came up with Ebro off Hot 97. Well, he claims that the story of Adonis from Pusha T hurt Drake's legacy. Not the whole writing ac- ac- accusation as far as somebody writing for him, but more so than anything, him loot. Well, I guess you could say he lost the Pusha T, even though Drake would say that people said that he shouldn't release his diss track. It was going to get too personal, this and the third. You know, they had what the Drake fuck was he going to say? <laughs> what, what? Outside I think of it's a mixture. Of his I, wife, I, you're right. What I think it's going to say? I think it's a mixture of things. Definitely with me coming out and, you know, saying like he kind of started this shit. Definitely kind of like <laughs> had pe- like had had us like, yeah. you know, had people looking at Drake differently. Even though me lost that, he still, you know what I'm saying? He still kind of exposed that. Go, Tony. Um the uh but yeah, Pusha T definitely like, you know, me put the dagger in, dagger in, didn't finish it, didn't kill him off, but then like Pusha T came in and just, you know, very disrespectful. He was on some Tupac hit him up shit, talking about his man dying from some type of disease, talking about his mm. daddy and his mama, talking about his baby mama, <laughs> his kid. I still wouldn't want to see like even if that alleged like response, you know, even though Jay Prince was like saying like, oh yeah, that he had to stop that or whatever, whatnot. But I don't think I would want to see what he would have gone with because I think Drake would have responded. You know what I'm saying? But it it would been it would been interesting. It would been interesting. Sure. I don't know. You could just make fun of the fact that he's like forty plus, still talking about dope and shit. Like, I, I, I think that's still something you could oh. talk about. Like, I'm gonna just say this right now. We talked about this early in the year, as far as the, the recent album he dropped, where I was like, he was one of those rappers that's able to still talk about what he's talking about, and it, it works. He the artfully does it so well. I mean, I put it in album of the year category. <laughs> Sure did. Yeah, push is nice, but that's just like that's all he could, that's all he does though. Like you know, that's like we cut we really cut it down to like you know, it's that's all he does is talk about dope shit. Like. But do you did feel like as far as everybody that's here on the panel that this hurts your legacy? Because we not only got him as far as Drake, you got Jay Z as far as uh, Ether, Nicki Minaj, Sheeta, um, who else? It's somebody else. I think I think uh, I think <laughs> I, I think um it won't hurt his legacy because if it did it would have like we would have felt the effects of it because he's still selling like a motherfucker still streaming like a motherfucker like so people mm-hmm. don't really care like that's because amongst like fans, though. yeah yeah but when we talk about like yeah, like like just talking about hip hop or just rap in general yeah like people are gonna kind of like knock him down a few points even though I still don't think like you could st- you still got kind of just give him his credit just for his run still because like nobody's ever really yeah. like had this long of a run like that but um but yeah it's i don't think i don't think that's gonna hurt his legacy like to the fullest it's definitely gonna uh put a blemish on it but i don't think it's gonna like hurt it completely shout out to tony yeah uh, i feel what you're saying about eminem i feel like people was always around that time when he was first starting and what he was doing and the way he was talking yeah, people was probably scared to go, like, nigga, I ain't about to talk about this. He talking about his mama. He talking about his girl. Killing them and murdering them. I'm good. I don't need no type of issue. <laughs> exactly. Um, And we're not even talking about record sales and all that. We're just talking about in general as far as they rapping legacy. Because that's a lot of things I think Drake takes in consideration. Like, I think he takes that serious. He wants people to take him serious as far as being a rapper. Yeah. And as far as Jay Z, shout out the uh, Bossle. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I can Question. agree with that. Question: Do you think Jay Z uh, response? How do you think the impact of Jay Z response would have been if he actually would have sit down and wrote something instead of just? I feel like he got into a desperate mode. He was like, "I got to say something immediately, and I got to say something kind of desperate." You know the whole thing. Talking about Nas, like Jay Z and Nas. You said what? You talking about Jay Z and Nas? Yeah. Okay. I think he got kind of desperate because you know when he said the whole thing with mentioning the condoms and the baby seat and all that, he was like, "I got to say something outrageous." Like this nigga, like you see what he just said to me on Ethan? I got to mm-hmm. say something. Mm-hmm. I ain't got time to write. The whole New York City is telling me that I lost right now, and you know around yeah. that time that was made King of New York. Who's the King of New York? Who's the King mm-hmm. of New York? 
Yeah, Jay Z had to respond to Ether. Uh, Ether kind of like killed Jay Z at that point, so Jay Z had to come back. But I think Takeover was a good response too. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I liked it. It's not a yeah, ain't no response. He started. He, like, he, he like started it. No, no. <laughs> that ain't no response. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Samuel Stokes, if you're talking about that Eminem disc, yeah. Not the whole song, it's just when he started going into the whole thing with Eminem, that's when it get whacked. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's why it don't hurt Jay-Z legacy. Signing eyes, and then, you know, doing a whole collaborative album with him and all of that, he kind of, you know, bringing him out on Summer Jam. Yeah, Jay-Z was uh, like, is the master just like tiptoeing through different things because now like everybody like even people brought this up like anytime he dropped out he was never like the biggest artist you know so somebody dropped something bigger than him or you know what i'm saying but he's able to like maneuver in such a way that nothing really like you know people don't really talk about certain aspects like when it comes to like jay-z yeah, he dated on. beyond well he married to beyonce and it's like man I'm, what we gonna talk about <laughs> billionaire I mean, the only thing that can bring up is you cheated on Beyonce, and it's like, okay, but now okay. it might be an argument to say that Nas has been making way better music than Jay Z. All oh, the most way. definitely, most definitely. Four, well, four, four. Jay Z last album was yeah, and how long ago was that? And even Nas still, came up with like four albums since then. Four. Yeah, but even before four, 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 do you not think Nas was kind of making better music at the time? I, I mean, what, what did? What, what did he have? Look, I gotta look back. Honestly, because you know how everybody talks shit about Kingdom Come, but then like American, he yeah, did the, the American Gates the soundtrack, which was awesome. Oh no, no, my bad. Yeah, yeah. see, that's what I mean. <laughs> that was that's yeah. what... <laughs> four for four that was right, really yeah. mid though. Four for four was really mid compared to like Magna uh, Carta and stuff. He did uh, with the production. Okay, okay, yes. Kanye definitely. Yes. That's all I'm about to say. Yes, because then when you, because because uh, then yeah, the Magna Carta and the Holy Grail, Watch the Throne, um, Blueprint Three, American mm-hmm. Gangsta, and then this yeah. Kingdom Come. So yeah, um, besides American Gangsta and Blueprint Three, because I didn't care for the collaborative albums with Kanye, I didn't. I did not care. Watch the Throne's great. Yeah, same here. I didn't either. Yeah, just, <laughs> and then, just, I, just, I don't think it's bad it music. It just, mm. just appealed to me. It did not move me. I mean, I I felt the artistry in it, but I didn't care for it. I yeah. don't have it on my playlist. Like well, nothing. So, from, so so we spent the Kanye production wise. It was great. Kanye it was great. Did, did not resonate with me now nor then. So. Yes, yeah, I do. Nah, it's definitely killing it right now, Samuel, especially with the King's disease. Now, yeah, this is different. Like he, he kind of found like second, uh, like second wind or a second life with those. And this is what we got to talk yes. about producers again. Hit boy, bringing that life into Nas again because even with Kanye producing for Nas, it didn't really like. Niggas like what? Well, it, 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 it didn't it, translate well. Mm-mm. I I like it, but it's like it still to me i it's not as bad as everybody said what you saying about so. the uh, black album boss I'm, the black album i like that that's 